Hello everyone. Um, today I wanted to show um, you how to make olele. It's a, it's a bean cake that we make in Gambia. Um, the Nigerians have their one. Um, is it Amala? Okay, I've heard so much about this and when I checked on YouTube I saw that you have a completely different way of making it. Um, our one I had always thought was similar to yours, but um, I don't think so after all because I've seen you put egg in it and one main ingredient in ours which is palm, palm oil, but you guys don't use it. And again, um, I guess the way that we actually cook it. Um, this is our one. This is the bean itself, the black eye bean. I'm very proud of this today because usually um, I just buy the powdered one in the shops. I'm sure you all know it. But yes, our mothers and the elders will tell us that they have other powders in that packet itself, not just the bean. You know how they do it to make money. So what I did today was I bought um, the packet of black eye beans just as you do, 500 grams or a kilo. This is actually a kilo, two 500 gram packets. And I soaked it. And um, it got very confusing, so I'm not going to go into it because I haven't showed you how to make it. I did it by instruction, step by step, calling and calling to find out everything, and this is what it is. So if you do have the powder, that's what you'd basically do. Put your powder in the bowl and mix it with water. Try and get this consistency. And I might add, add a little water here later. I'm not too sure yet. And um, yes, yeah, so that's the black eye beans. Um, this is the fish. We use two types, always two types. This is the smoked fish up there. And this is the fresh fish. I'm using here, this is haddock and this is pollock. Um, in Gambia, we have a specific smoked fish that you would always use for this. It's really, really cheap, but it's the best flavor. It's actually the smoked fish we use in almost every cooking that we cook with smoked fish. Gambia, they really tend to have just two kinds of smoked fish, which is that um, itself and another one, which is catfish. And yes, that's it. Um, okay, so these are the two types of fishes. As you can see, I'm using quite an amount of everything here because I end up having to give my family and so on. Okay, so this is it, the fish. The next thing is the aubergine. And you'd cut them. Basically, this is how I've cut everything, really. It's quite um, large. Because with the aubergines, you might think, oh, that's big. But the thing is, when you eat um, the olive itself, you'd find that it's really nice with it. So when you eat little bits, it's almost like you'd be wanting more. So I find, after all, that I've, I like it better when it's whole like this. So when it's big like this. And this is the next ingredient, onions. Again, cut them into cubes like that. This is frozen. I can be very lazy with onions. I do cut quite a bit and leave them in my freezer. So that's the onions there. And this is the pepper. You can use scotch bonnet peppers, and that's what I usually use. But this time I just went for the um, long chilies, the red ones, the hot ones. I was in a hurry and just bought that. It's the same. It's very hot. Trust me, it's the same. And um, this is the Maggie cubes. I'm going to put some Maggie in it. Not too much, because you'd find with oil there, um, you don't want to put too, too much Maggie. Salt, just taste it, salt it to taste. So that's the salt, and this is the palm oil. And because this one, I put that in the microwave so I can see how much I actually need rather than putting that um, when it's not like liquid like this. It helps you know better how much you need. So that's it. Black eye beans, fish, smoked and fresh, aubergines, onions, pepper, and um, the palm oil, the palm oil, sorry, <laughs> and then salt. We don't put curry, um, oregano, herbs, nothing like that. This is it, just salt, not even black pepper either. And so what happens, you mix 
and then this is the packaging we put it in. This is foil. I'm using this foil, and I make them into little cases, and then you pop it in here. And after you pop it in here, this is the um, how we steam it. That's the pot there with water, basically half. And this is the steamer. Is it called a steamer? I call it a steamer. And that's it. You put it inside, and then just make sure you have something to cover it. And um, that's it in there. This is one I'm making because I always make one. Yeah. Sorry. I always make one, taste it for salt and for other ingredients like the palm oil, is it enough? And the pepper, is it too hot or not? And that's it basically. Oh, we're steaming up the camera here. Yes. Um, and this is fantastic. Now I hope all of you out there try it. I hope the ingredients are simple enough. Very easy to access, especially now in the summer. Aubergines are quite cheap because I find you get them um, in other seasons. They can actually be a little bit expensive, aren't they? Like one, just the one medium would cost you about a pound. I bought all of this for one pound yesterday. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to do another video when I'll be just mixing the ingredients, everything in here, and show you, maybe you'd like to know just how much I am putting in there. And uh, yes, the other video will be putting everything in here and then taking it to the steamer. And yeah, I will open up the one I'm cooking there now to show you how it turns out. So there you have it. This is Olele. It's a Gambian bean cake <laughs> snack. Thank you.